Hello traders welcome to this recording that Samurai Trader here in this recording I'm just going to be briefly discussing day trading the euro bund which is a European futures contract we have uh, a lot of members that are based in Europe and uh, throughout the UK and a number of them have approached me about this particular market that they're already trading and a lot of the public quite often will ask me by email have I traded this market well I haven't traded it personally for many years I traded the euro stock x50 and I've never actually got around to trading this market which I now regret <laughs> because with the research I'm about to show you and just looking at uh, a couple of days trading action I wish I had have looked at this market earlier but traders you can only look at and trade so many markets and there's literally dozens of markets around the world that we can look at we can trade and as you'll hear me talk about regularly you want to become a specialist become very very good at a market what I love about this market is the volume and I'm going to want to run through that then we're going to look at some charts some potential uh, trade setups and um, we'll just discuss how that relates to a couple of other markets so I'll try not to make this too long first of all understanding the risk uh, please pause the video traders and read this risk disclaimer there is a risk in trading very very important that uh, if trading hasn't been working out for you that you get the right education that you do your paper uh, trading that you then go in sim before you go live it's very very important now let's get into it so first of all I don't want to make this into a great big advertisement but if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do then you'll be able to be kept up to to date with uh, some of my latest research and developments uh, please request my free ebook go to my website obtain my ebook most importantly become a member so please go to my website uh, subscribe and request my ebook and further information about my program the day traders fast track program okay let's get into it so lay in wait I'm going to uh, show you a couple of days of potential trades we'll go through some of them very very quickly but just one thing I want to make comment is as I was tracking the market yesterday you will see that there was a long fairly long period of consolidation and if you could have been chopped up fairly badly over about it was only over a 30 minute to one hour time period but traders as a day trader it, it really goes against you and it goes goes against it's almost waiting for the trade to come to us we're generally looking for the trade well I want you to be patient because every trading day has its sweet spots and you want to wait for the breakouts and that's where you'll hear me talk regularly about becoming a sniper that is laying in wait for the trade to come to you now that doesn't come naturally to a trader it's something you've got to develop you've got to develop the patience over time but it's very very important no matter which market you're trading that you just wait and I'll show you what I mean when we look at the charts in a moment what we've got before us there is a chart from one of our members uh, Robin's been a member for quite some time now he's based in the UK and he was over here in Australia and uh, we chatted a couple of days ago and he's trading this market and he really prompted me to really get some research going on the bun for our other members because um, he finds it suits him ideal now, uh, now in his particular case he's using a Renko chart which he really likes and that's fantastic and remember the strategies in the day traders fast track program doesn't matter whether you're using time based charts tick range Renko volume the strategies work on all time frames but remember the lower the time frame the more noise you'll get so we ran through uh, some of Robin's charts and his setups on this particular market and I must admit he got me really interested in the potential for our members so members you'll be hearing a lot more on this market from me as we get closer particularly for the London session for our New Yorkers for our North American uh, members the hours are a little upside down uh, but if you get up very very early you'll still get some some nice trading so let's have a look at this particular contract the bun so it's a standard uh, contract uh, the standard value of a contract is 10,000 uh, sorry 100,000 euros the tick value is 10 euros now I fired off a, a trade just one trade which I'll 
if we have time I'll show you which just five contracts I went at market I got one tick slippage uh, it was only um, 7 30 in the morning so the main market hadn't opened up so that was uh, 364 uh, um, almost net I think the net profit on it was just under 350 but uh, the point I wanted to bring up it worked out uh, the euro dollar of course has risen against the US so it worked out to be in US terms around ten dollars forty per tick that's what it uh, worked out to be approximately now this is where it gets attractive so in London it's uh, from 7 a.m. this particular market opens up at 7 a.m. and it runs through to 9 p.m. so you've got some really good trading if you want to fire off a few trades before you go to work or for our early rises in the US uh, for our Europe, European clients 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. and what was really interesting uh, is the volume so if we looked at the volume traded as a comparison against the euro stock x50 the euro stock x50 yesterday being thursday the 5th of the first 2017 remember it's uh the week it's a short week straight after new year's so it's a very low volume week on the euro stock x50 yesterday we saw 723,000 contracts trade on the bun there was uh, 651,000 now today being uh, Friday the 6th we saw on the euro stock x50 approximately 770,000 contracts and on the bun there was 1,115,000 so we've got some fantastic volume but what I love about this market is the trading range is excellent as you're about to see in a moment and I think that's probably if you said to me what's my greatest trading weakness as a, as a day trader myself I'm not great at trading ranges I'm a, a momentum trader I like to see um, some nice volume running through and some nice ranges and that's one thing that uh, we've fallen in love with oil about the ES has been rather flat lately but oil's been fantastic of course NQ is always good but the bund is very very good now just one more thing before I move on is for those clients I use TradeStation and my data feed also is from TradeStation they don't have the Nikkei mini so for our Asian friends and even uh, those leading into London and even for our South American friends that want to get some trading in during when they get home from work the Nikkei mini 225 contract is also got some fantastic trading volume out of the uh, Japanese exchange now unfortunately TradeStation doesn't provide the data yes you can get the CME contract on the Nikkei but you can't get the the mini directly from the exchange in Japan where there is some fantastic volume so if you're after a another market that is similar to this the Nikkei trades very very well uh, you get some great ranges during the day and that's really what we're after because if you look at the majority of our trading setups traders whether you're looking for t1 the t2 the t25 our 34 our 89 and even the 200b we love those ranges and the bund uh, the Nikkei uh, of course and CL really delivers that so before we go to the chart I just want to mention here the that's the stop and target now remember that the higher the time frame the larger the stop and target you want to be targeting for of course but you also have less noise because when you're looking at 10 euros and as you're about to see you're really realistically going to need an 8 to 10 tick stop so you're looking at an 80 to um, uh, 100 euro stop just let's just round it off that's around 80 to 100 uh, USD uh, so that affects your uh, account size because if you're risking a maximum of 2% which is what I recommend you never risk any more than two get down uh, uh, as most of you know I only trade with 0.5 I keep it really low it just makes trading more comfortable so I really recommend that but uh, 8 to 10 ticks so looking at this uh, thing here now you might just want to spend some time on this and maybe pause the video and read this I don't want to make this too long so I won't spend too much time on it but looking at uh, as an example scalping CL now trading the 233 tick 
uh, CL contract the black gold oil you can easily get in 20 t1 scalps a day easily and at five ticks if you're winning your win loss ratio is around 80% winners which you'll find that's pretty right if you're scalping five ticks following our trading rules you're netting after commissions around 300 if you average six ticks you're up to 460 now what I'm suggesting here is you look at doing this a very very similar approach with the bun maybe scalping five or six ticks on your first contract on your second contract going for 10 ticks now by the way on the first lot I'm saying okay a 10 tick stop is very wide but if you've got a high probability trading strategy such as the t1s with the trend or your your extreme CT trade your counter trend trades you're going to achieve that on average so uh, something to really consider but the second contract here on a 70% win loss ratio with uh, losing 10 ticks on a, on a trade here trading um, uh, on both sides you have a potential of netting on average around $500 per contract across the board if you're following this road so just something I'd really like you to spend some time on your money management in this area particularly if you're scalping now if you're scalping five ticks whether it be on oil on CL or particularly the bun what it also does for you from a psychological point of view is just so many things you scalp or five you're bringing your stop up on your second contract uh, it basically becomes a risk free trade also it builds your confidence a great deal which is very very important as a trader so let's go and have a look at some charts so what you've got before you here on the left hand side I've got the 89 tick FGBL which is the ticker for the bund now we can see here that Queensland time where I'm based at the moment uh, it the market opens here at 5 p.m. now uh, for my Sydney siders and my rest of Australians here that is 6 p.m. Uh, for my Asian clients many of them we're looking at then a 3 p.m. market open now if we look at the comparison over here on the left hand side let me just uh, go back to here for a moment because I just want to show you this here that the amount of action that we had this is uh, by the way this is um, uh, around two hours action here okay compared to a couple of um, hours here but the trading range now also you can see here each one of these little hashes here that's one tick yet these little ones here is one tick on the bun so in other words you had incredible trading ranges and this is what and and I apologize to the members that have been on my back about this for over a year to look at this but once again I can only trade so many markets look at so many markets and you hear me you know talk about the shiny object syndrome all the time it's very very easy to constantly be going from one setup to another and from one market to another where I heavily promote you become a specialist get to know the market you're trading really well I know the euro stock x50 really well however as I mentioned after looking at this the last two nights and being on this market live um, I can uh, I'm, I'm quietly excited for our European members particularly now please excuse these long lines and these little this is a little tool um, that we're testing at the moment on behalf of another developer and it's working in absolute treat because if you're scalping five ticks and then going for your 10 could have you got more and this little tool is working out to be an absolute um, treat on getting these extensions and we're going to be using this uh, members uh, for the members that are watching this we're going to be using this the trade master in the trade room in the trading room so uh, you'll be able to um, uh, use these live but let's um, uh, so the point I wanted to make here at ten dollars uh, sorry ten euros per tick and at ten euros the trading range is enormous in comparison to the euro stock x50 so it's a lot more attractive and I uh, I thought I'd never say that because I really enjoyed the euro stock x50 but it's the waves that we want to surf traders and, and once again if you consider yourself a surfer and if you are a surfer as you know you want those waves and that's one thing that got me really excited or has me excited for you all 
uh, particularly on this market what also is also great members is the 34 B's okay your 200 B's and particularly your divergence trades now you can go back and have a look at this market so remember this is the Thursday the 5th of January 2017 a quick calculation here there were uh, 10 true what I call true divergence trades uh, for that day and out of those there were uh, only one loss where you would have made uh, still made some good 7 to 15 ticks out of your divergence trades so number one uh, it's great for those divergence traders number two is the ranges now at the same time I had up the CL 89 tick and the 144 for the London trading session as a reminder traders for London uh, you can trade the 89 tick on CL but it does get a bit fast particularly as you're leading up to the New York Open the 144 is more tradable but I type this in at the same time uh, it reminds me of trading the CL the way the market moves it can really fly now if you're trading it with the trend uh, it's a lot easier to trade okay that is it's a lot safer because it can really move okay so your double bottoms your t7s your t9s uh, your, your uh, t10s but look at your bounces here uh, with divergence they all worked an absolute treat okay they just worked really well the trade master extensions were fantastic on this market let me so that's Thursday let me just quickly uh, go to Friday's action uh, sorry Thursday night's action my apologies so we saw a, a because the market unlike the Globex markets on say the NQ or the YM or the ES uh, it does like the euro stock is 50 close out and the market did go up and looking just going back uh, looks like uh, a lot of these gaps do close which is um, uh, great that was very easy uh, pickings to pick up uh, five to ten uh, ticks and this is what I wanted to um, just mention now we actually had a divergence trade uh, down here and we actually ended up with a t7 now you easily picked up your five or six ticks on your first contract but these these are the areas where you really want to watch okay so uh, coming this over here is uh, uh, 9 a.m. Uh, sorry traders I'm just look just I've just had to check for time base down there yes yeah, so this is 9 a.m. London time so then we started to get some action so we saw some consolidation you want to stay out of this when you see your EMAs particularly hanging around a floor pivot just wait for that sweet spot remember lay in wait become a sniper okay then the thing is the market really took off and we had uh, some great shorting opportunities now what I do want to talk about very very quickly and I know this is really meant to be just about trading the market but just to give you a little bit of an education here is that with divergence trading I tend to find this is where most amateur traders get smashed is trading divergence and we actually saw potential divergence trade here we had another one here then finally we had uh, one down here and it takes off so just as a hint when you see three tests of your EMAs then you know there's a the probabilities dramatically improve that your divergence trades are going to come off so I put down here now we're talking I was doing this live last night and so we can see here that uh, we had a nice little double bottom nice little t7 with divergence so when you have those traders you've got a much greater opportunity or the, the probabilities that these trades are going to take off for you now if I then go and put my trade master on here what it's given me here is a potential projection here that my target should be way up here um, for a really nice trade and what is it that's probably a good 15 to 20 ticks that's 15 uh, that's 150 to 200 euros with a stop under two ticks under my um, little target here so my uh, stop was only around eight nine ticks here traders as a reminder I like to place my stops two ticks above or below my swing high so if I was shorting here I'd want to be two ticks above here if I was going long here two ticks under here and when you have your divergence here like this on these t7s and you see a lot of t7s during this actually let me take that back you'll see three to four 
t7 to david a counter trend they're very very high probability trades likewise when you get these um, t7s uh, with the trend right put the farm on them only joking but what I mean by that there are very very and here's one here actually let's just have a quick look um, and, and members by the way I'm going to go into I'm hopefully going to do a more detailed in-depth I'll go through trade by trade here but this is a general public video but look at this here uh, t7 with the trend love them okay uh, t7 no we, we will had quite a few trades here uh, no divergence but you still had a really nice six tick pick up you would have broken even on your second contract okay uh, another t7 with the trend look at your 89 look at your 200 using an anchor chart you'll see that you're still in a very definite downtrend uh, even though on this t7 you ticked up one tick above your little high here and remember looking at your divergence so t7s with divergence with the trend are absolute golden trades so you can see here it ticked up one tick above your high here your two tick stop once again kept you in the trade and you'll see uh, the stop hunters go up and test by one tick all the time once again another t7 counter trend trade with it again here we've got it here uh, the point here is uh, do you short there now what I wanted to point out is you've uh, members you've heard me talk about this when you have a t7 up against the 200 what you've got there is the t the, sorry the 200 EMA is acting as resistance they're very very good trades and particularly when you get divergence so traders um, I'm going to wrap this up but what I wanted to really disclose on is if say you're in uh, the US Canada for our US and Canada clients where 90% of our members are based um, if you're up early it's a fantastic market there's some fantastic trades in this market for uh, my European friends uh, I must admit uh, I think I'm swayed from moving from trading the euro stock X 50 over the bund and, and thanks Robin and thanks for the other members that have really been prompting me on this uh, you know the volume is fantastic it's almost identical to the euro stock X 50 but those trading ranges are great so you do need to consider a couple of things on risk such as the size of your stops etc but I'm sold so traders uh, if you've got any questions uh, please feel free to go to my website there uh, and drop me an email at trader at I'm a day trader.com request my ebook more importantly become a member come and join our live trading room thank you traders I look forward to receiving your emails and look forward to seeing you or reading your emails <laughs> anyway thank you traders mm -hmm.